Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. I hope everyone is well. How we doing? I'm a little tired, I'm not going to lie. It's been a rough, what, day, day and a half? Yeah. Last night was a late night, this morning was an early morning, and I got another early morning tomorrow, but I wanted to try to squeeze a couple of readings in tonight before I have to go to bed. So, let's see... Yesterday we did Virgo, Gemini, it looks like you're up. And if you guys have been following along with this cycle, um, earlier I put out, if you guys can guess what I'm doing with this crazy order, you win a free reading, well, somebody already won the free reading, so can't remember what their name is, um, I'll probably shout it, shout it out in a different video. So if I get any other guessers, I would absolutely love to do that free reading so figure it out send me an email or leave a comment I'll hook you up all right this reading will be for Gemini Sun Moon Rising Venus for the second half of May if it resonates with you cool share free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all it is your journey not mine I just read the cards Keep in mind, it's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with every Gemini, and that's okay. It's not supposed to. Check your moon, rising, or Venus sign readings. Those might resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. And cross-watchers, come on in. You're welcome here, too. I love the cross-watchers. Sneaky little devils. So cute. Okay. I think we got it. Okay. Gemini, why are you here? The moon. Oh. Things a little foggy. A little smoke and mirrors crap going on right now is a little out of perspective if you look at this card you gotta look at it there's a black cat and it looks down in the water and it sees a panther looking back up at it perspective is a little skewed things could possibly be a little bit overblown right now blown out of proportion if you will let's just See what the rest of the cards have to say before I speak anything else. Wow. My, oh my. Well, Gemini, this is quite interesting. Okay. How you feel about the person you're dealing with Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Maybe you feel like they're not putting work into the connection. Just off the top of my head. What you think of them, the hanging man in the reverse. Well, the hanged man in the reverse. A little emotionally stuck on something. What you want from them, the Queen of Cups reversed. You want them to emotionally withdraw? shut their emotions off to something? I don't necessarily think it's you. I, I think it's a, a situation. How they feel about you is the King of Wands. Sometimes the King of Wands can be a little bit confrontational. Just throwing that out there. What they think of you is the Hierophant reversed. 
We're going to throw a clarifier on that. Because that's a card of disconnect. Or you're learning impaired. Unable to learn life's lessons, if you will. Again, we'll throw a clarifier on it. The Hierophant's kind of open-ended. What they want from you is the devil reversed. They want you to disconnect from something altogether. Something very powerful, potentially toxic. Okay. Or... That's it. Possibly not obsess about something so much. Things may be blown a little bit out of proportion. Is it connecting for you? Are, are the dots lining up? Dots are lining up for me. I don't know about you. Okay. The challenge here. The Knight of Wands in the reverse. Somebody wants to commit. Holy cow. Holy cow. Well, what needs to be done is the Four of Wands in the reverse. Doors need to close. Very, I, I love it when the universe just lets it line up for me. I love it. Potential outcome, possible outcome. Four of Swords in the reverse. The Four of Swords in the reverse is a lot of restless energy. I don't think either one of you want to continue to be in a restless state. Okay, let's let's get some clarity. Let's get some clarity for my Gemini friends. Mm. You. Use the gilded deck. Okay. Okay. Hands not wanting to work. I say, guys, it's been a rough couple of days. Busy, busy. I don't talk too much about what my bread and butter job actually is, but uh, I'll give you a hint. I, I I work in the service industry, and busy, 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 busy. Slammed to the wall all day long, right from the time I walk through the door to the time I leave. Slammed. I love it. Don't get me wrong. I feel very blessed to be in an essential industry right now and to be working, but my feet hurt. I'm not going to lie. Everything hurts. My hair. Everything hurts. <laughs> everything hurts. All right. Enough about me. Let's read some cards. All right. Why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed here? I should probably cut and then ask the question. Why is the Eight of Pentacles... Five of Swords in the reverse. Someone's not putting work into the connection. Five of Swords in the reverse is an indicator of closed door activity. Okay, if they're not putting their work into the connection, they're putting their work in somewhere else. One more. Oh, pardon me. Do you feel like they're putting their work and energy into other things? Things happening behind closed doors. Three of Wands reversed. You're just kind of not waiting for that ship to come back into port. Or you feel like they're not waiting. You feel like the ship's never going to come in. Uh, a reverse three, that, that's an indicator of, of a third party situation. So, just throwing that out there doesn't necessarily have to be. I'm just throwing that out there. Why is the hanged man here? Why is the hangman reversed here for what Gemini thinks of the other person? 
emotionally stuck. Ha! You flipped Six of Swords. Six of Swords in the reverse. You're emotionally stuck. Possibly. Six of Swords is a card of return. Possibly you, th you think they're waiting for something to return. Or something has returned to them and they're emotionally stuck on it. Hair fit in the upright. Could have been someone they were married to. Some type of blessed union, soulmate thing going on here. Oh wow. Keep in mind, with this particular moon, perspectives are skewed. Things are being blown out of proportion right now. I don't know if it's you or them. Keep that in mind. Why is the Queen of Cups reversed here? Hey, we got another flipper. The star. I have Pisces, Taurus, Aquarius, Capricorn. Taurus is on the board twice. You might be dealing with a Taurus. Might be a Pisces. Wow. One more. They want you to emotionally... If Emotionally close off from something. Finally heal from something. Lay things to rest. Leave the house plan on the back porch. Leave the old seed behind. It didn't grow. Okay. Why is the king of wands here for how the other person feels about Gemini? I flipped that incorrectly. Eight of one, eight of swords in the upright. Confrontational, all wrapped up. They feel like you're being consumed by this. You're confrontational about it. Possibly blowing it out of proportion. I don't think I need to throw another one on that. Why is the Hierophant reversed here for what the other person thinks of Gemini? The Tower. They're questioning if you want this connection with them at all. They feel like you're calling a tower moment. It's like you, tr you, you try to instigate arguments. This is what they're thinking. Th this is what's popping up into my head. You, they think you're an instigator. You're blowing it out of proportion. That's just what I'm hearing. I'm not accusing anyone of anything. I'm just reading cards. I, I'm not here to offend people. I'm just reading cards. And it's all lining up for me. So, good read. I dropped you. There is no way you came out by yourself. Okay. Why is the devil reversed here? Okay. Knight of Cups. Ten of Wands reversed. I can't remember what reading it was.
but it just popped up into my head. Dirty Fingers point first. I don't know if any of you watched that one. Dirty Hands point fingers first. Let me explain what that means. Sometimes when someone is accusing someone of something else, and just sometimes, not always, they're guilty. And they don't want to admit to being guilty. <sighs> Devil reversed, clarified by a knight of cups and a ton of wands in the reverse. Okay, okay. They want you to disconnect from all this toxic garbage. This toxic energy. This obsessive behavior. Gemini, they feel like you're obsessing. And, and you're going to cause the breakdown of this relationship. You're going to cause the tower moment. The Knight of Cups, okay, he's a lover. He's not necessarily very committal, but I don't think that's neither here nor there in this situation. Okay. He lives in the moment. He enjoys the moment. He enjoys the relationship. If it grows into something, awesome. If it doesn't, well, he's the Knight of Cups. He's not a very committal dude anyway. He's not exactly the Knight of Wands, but, you know. <laughs> Yeah. They just want you to enjoy the moment, Gemini, and enjoy the relationship. Take the good with the bad. And if you got something you want to get off your chest, you need to. But don't... They don't want... It's starting to become burdensome. And they don't want that. <laughs> you gotta... You gotta just ease up. Ease up. Ease up. It's okay. Don't obsess. Probably reading way too much into it. Okay. But the obstacle here is the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Speaking of non-committal, well, he's in the reverse. Somebody wants to commit. Somebody may not be ready to commit. That's usually why it shows up in the reverse as the obstacle in a situation. You can get a clarifier on that, please. Can I get a little clarity? And the Knight of Wands reverse, please. Hi. Eight of Wands in the reverse. You're not talking. There's no communication here. Somebody wants to commit and they're not having the conversation. Knight of Pentacles just flew out. Did you see that? Just flew out. Right out there under the table. Somebody needs to slow down. Someone may need to apologize. The Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles can both represent an apology. Somebody wants to commit, the other one doesn't, you're not talking about it, you need to ease into the conversation apparently. Or perhaps someone is moving a little bit slower than the other person wants. Take it however it resonates. What needs to be done? Why is the Four of Wands reversed here for what needs to be done? The Four of Wands represents closing of doors. For me, it's also my little minor arcana tower card. I don't think we need to shake this up any more than we already have. I don't think a shake up would be a good thing at this point. It already popped up right here literally right next to each other. Come on. Why is the poor wands reversed here for what needs to be done? Hi. How are you? Seven of wands reversed. Okay. Enough with the confrontation already. This doesn't have to be a war. Obviously someone is battling something internally. Okay. Okay. Rain it in. One more.
the full reverse popped out. Perhaps someone is being slightly childish. Okay. So somebody might need to, to grow up a little bit and stop blowing things out of proportion again. I'm not pointing fingers. I don't know who's doing what. I wasn't there. I'm just reading cards. That's all I'm doing. I'm not here to offend people. But if it's resonating, let me know. Leave a comment, like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want more. And I'm also available for personal readings. What do you have to say? Judgment. Oh, gosh. Judgment came out. Somebody needs to make a judgment call here. Somebody needs to decide what's going to happen. Okay. So, y'all need to stop fighting. Y'all need to stop slamming doors. Start trusting each other a little bit and stop being so childish. Okay. I might not even need to give advice. That was beautiful. Okay. Why is the four swords reversed here? High Priestess reversed, Ace of Wands in the uprights. There's Restless Energy. High Priestess can represent someone not listening to their intuition or someone being extremely egotistical. It can also represent lack of communication. Okay. So the connection not quite being as strong down here in the 3D as it is up in the 5D. The 5D is where it all begins. We all signed up for this when we came down here. That's another video. Anyway, another video that I didn't make, by the way. Um... <sighs> Let me tell you. If this pattern continues, it's not going to end well. It's really not. It's just going to be restless energy and egotistical, maniacal behavior and eventually someone going off to start something new. I think that's where we're going to end this. Let's get your advice. The Queen of Wands in the reverse, and the Nine of Swords in the upright. Stop overthinking this. Don't let it consume you. Don't let it keep you up at night. You are potentially blowing things way out of proportion. There is not a panther in that reflection. It is just a kitty cat. Okay? The High Priestess in the upright and the Three of Wands in the reverse. You guys need to communicate better. Sit down, talk, have a conversation, really listen to your intuition, really listen to what they're saying. This is a powerful connection. As far as the Three of Wands in the reverse, um, don't stand there and wait to watch the shipwreck. It doesn't have to be a shipwreck. Put your egos in your pockets. Have a conversation. This doesn't have to end badly. I think y'all just need to talk. The Magician in the Reverse. The Eight of Cups in the Upright. Oh, wow. I just heard, stop trying to manipulate the situation or inevitably 
the, the other person's just going to walk away. Again, I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know if I'm talking to Gemini or the Crosswatcher. I, I wasn't there. I don't know how this is going to resonate with who. I'm just reading cards. Don't pull the puppet strings because you're just going to push them away. The strings are going to break. The Four of Cups in the reverse and the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Uh, don't allow the conversation to be one-sided. Don't ignore what is being handed to you because they may not hand it to you again. I think once that offer's off the table, it's going to be off the table altogether, and this is going to grind to a halt. So, when the moment happens, don't ignore it. Don't keep looking down at the three spilled cups. You have to look up and see what is being handed to you. Okay. Gemini, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it wholeheartedly. I gotta get up early. What time is it anyway? Oh wow. I think I got time for one more tonight. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But don't forget to check out your moon rise yeah, moon rising and Venus sign readings. If I can make words work right now. I'm super tired, I'm sorry. Again, not twisting anybody's arm, but don't be afraid of the like button if you liked it. Or the share button or the subscribe button or the notification bell, you know. Whatever you want to do. It's appreciated. I'll put it that way. And as far as personal readings go, I have one in the pipe for Monday and I'm wide open after that. So hit me up. $15 for one question, $10 for each additional question, and I will not charge more than $50. So shoot us an email. We'll play Let's Make a Deal. Love you guys to bits. Catch you next time.